It's October 17th, and the 17th movie is Deep Red by Dario Argento, and I just made a long review, and it didn't record any of the audio! So i got to make this really quick, because I'm running out of time to get this uploaded. If you can see in the background, it's 10.58. I'm trying to do this before midnight. And so let's read the back of this. Look at that beautiful cover. Oh, I love Dario Argento. He is one of my all-time favorite directors. If you love horror movies and you've never heard of Dario Argento, you have to check him out. He's an Italian horror director. He's made a ton of movies. A lot of people consider Deep Red to be his best, but my favorite is Suspiria, personally. But this one deserves all the hype. It is also one of his greatest. And, anyway, let's go ahead and read the back of this. Uh, this is a release by Arrow all the way. Uh, by the way, it's a Blu-ray. It was amazing quality. From Dario Argento, Master of the Macabre. And the man behind some of the greatest excursions in Italian horror comes Deep Red, the ultimate giallo movie. One night, musician Marcus Daly, looking up from the street below, witnesses the brutal axe murder of a woman in her apartment. Racing to the scene, Marcus just manages to miss the perpetrator, or does he? As he takes on the role of amateur sleuth, Marcus finds himself ensnared in a bizarre web of murder and mystery where nothing is what it seems. Aided by a throbbing score from regular Argento collaborators Galob Goblin, Deep Red, is a hallucinatory fever dream of a giallo punctuated by some of the most astonishing set pieces the subgenre has to offer. Dario Argento is a masterful director, and he's very artistic and stylish. And one of the big main points of Dario Argento's movies is that for a lot of them, he used Goblin, which is like a progressive rock band. So they use synth, like keyboard, and they use drums and guitar. There's a lot of bass guitar in it, like dum 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 dum. But it, it can build up suspense. It can um, be calming music. It can be you know like rock. Um, the music is amazing during the movies. It's unlike any anything else that you've seen. He does have blood in his movies, and it's usually like bright red paint-looking blood. <laughs> Um, he does have some disturbing, disturbing, disturbing imagery, like deep cuts and stuff like that, or corpses. Um, this is supposed to be playing, what the heck? Okay, it must have just stopped. I paused it because I hit something. I can't believe it didn't record the audio. I tested it beforehand. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, is it recording now? What's going on? My computer's messing up. I don't have time for this. No! No! Get off my screen! There's something in front of my... Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm back. We're good still. So, something that I really noticed when I watched this again is a lot of the close-ups that he does that are just amazing. Like the close-up of that guy, the sweat going down his, the side of his face. He really knows how to get you like into the scenes. And it's basically a murder mystery uh, movie. You don't see the killer until the end, uh, and there's all these trails of trying to find out the killer. You know, I gotta make this really short and like upload it like right now. So you need to check out Deep Red. I'll do, I'll do a better review when I can get around to it. So that's gonna be it. God bless. <laughs>